Late Night Health continues. I'm Mark Allen. Robert Clancy, the author of The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Soul, joins us, and we're going to talk about hope. Robert, welcome back to Late Night Health. Yeah, thanks for having me back on. And, you know, I thought this is a topic I don't think we've touched on, but it's so important to your your health and well-being that I, I'm surprised that we haven't touched on it. So my, uh, my quote is, fear is a choice of uncertainty and hope is a guarantee. And, you know, if you have ever hit rock bottom, you know, take comfort in knowing that the tallest of all the structures are always built on bedrock. And that's where rock bottom is. And, you know, at those times in my life when I've had to reach deeply into my beliefs, you know, hope was the one thing that guided me. And it's the one thing I found that never leaves your side unless you let go of it. You know, it, it's always there. And I believe that there's probably scientific evidence that, you know, positive mental attitude can actually improve your health and recovery. And I don't know if you've had guests on this show, but I'd love to hear kind of your insights on that. Well, I think hope is, is important. Without hope, what is there? You always have to, you know, have hope. I mean, even when you reach rock bottom, as you said, you could always go lower. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yes, I, I've been on there. But, you know, the, the great thing about rock bottom or when you hit that point, you know, if you grab onto hope, you know where you need to go. You just look up because that's where you need to go. It's up and out. And that's the only way to do it. Robert, thank you for your insight. And we look forward to talking to you again next week. All right. Well, thank you. Robert Clancy, the author of The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Soul. Late Night Health continues with a friend of mine that I have known for more years than either one of us wants to admit. Uh, Dr. Earl Mendel, he is uh, uh, Dr. Earl Mendel. He has a master's in uh, public health. He also is a registered uh, pharmacist. He's the author, of course, of Earl Mendel's New Vitamin Bible, but his latest book is called The Happiness Effect, The Positive Benefits of Negative Ions. Uh, I'm going to call you Earl because I've known you too long. Earl, welcome to Late Night Health. How do we get negative ions? I want some. Mark, uh, it's a pleasure to be on the show. Well, how do we get them? Actually, I want to just tell you something. The problem is, and of course, negative ions are made naturally by the body. But unfortunately, our uh, 21st century lifestyle is very conducive to produce uh, positive ions, which can lead to a tiredness, depression, all kinds of uh, terrible things. Example, uh, television, uh, cell phones, air conditioners, uh, being cooped in a, uh, in a uh, office building where there's no ventilation uh, except uh, artificial uh, the, but fresh air here in Southern California, uh, unless you're in the orchard uh, at Wayne Manor in Ventura, where I'm in, yeah. there, there's a lot of, you know, there's smog and particulates and all kinds of exactly. junk in the air. That, you, you just, <laughs> that's the reason I, I did the book. Well, uh, because you're right, even if we get out into fresh air, uh, so it's better, but in general, most people live in uh, major cities where uh, it's polluted and they're not outside very much. I mean, the average person gets uh, from their office or their home in an artificial environment to their car, which is an artificial environment, either heated or air conditioned. I mean, we spend maybe, if we're lucky, a uh, uh, half hour, hour outside. So what, why are uh, uh, negative ions so important? Well, uh, here's a question that I ask people. What, how do you feel when you take a shower? Well, I feel great. I'd well, stay in there all day if I could. Okay, now the reason is, that's a very good answer, because the reason is, you see, the oh, rapid water movement produces negative ions. And you're breathing in those negative ions, just so, as though you're next to a waterfall or uh, uh, lightning or by the uh, ocean. That's why people like to go to the ocean. Uh, the waves produce more of these negative ions. What about the pollution in the ocean or even in the tap water that's coming through the shower head? Well, okay, so <laughs> once again, if I were you, I would get a filtration device that filters out most of the stuff on your shower head. The ocean, we can't do very much about. But the idea is, Mark, uh, I think we're living in an environment of negativity in a sense that, I mean, watch the, the news. It's always 
bad, if it bleeds, it leads. It's a horrible situation. And we exacerbate it by uh, this uh, positive ion uh, uh, being uh, the main uh, part of our, uh, of our lifestyle. So what I say is get out the fresh air. Uh, get, uh, and I talk about different ways where you can produce uh, negative ions. There's uh, bands that I wear myself, or uh, you can, there's actually a machine that produces uh, negative ions as well. And it's interesting that the Japanese are way ahead of us on that. In fact, the Japanese baseball players wear a special uh, black uh, band uh, that uh, it feels it gives them more energy. And how about this one? The uh, uh, Toyota Motor Company supposedly uh, has put in a negative ion uh, generator in their Corolla automobiles. How do you wow. like that one? No, that's a good idea. Now, it, you know, driving in major cities like New York, Chicago, Los Angeles, Philadelphia, uh, major cities, people jump into their car, mm-hmm. turn it on, and either have stupidly left their air conditioner on or turn it on immediately. And, uh, in that's fact, I, I had my car serviced over the week, last week, uh-huh. and they wanted to, re- I think they replaced the in-cabin air filtration filter okay or at least they were supposed to i better check my invoice well here's here is a very good rule of thumb when you get into the car roll down the window before turning on the air conditioning or whatever the heater because it's going to give you a blast of uh, unfortunately uh, polluted uh, environment uh, as well as uh, positive uh, ions so that's a good example but you're right you should change the filter in uh, your automobile, uh, etc. And by the way, another nice thing about uh, negative ions, uh, it seems to adhere to the uh, pollens and the other uh, pollutants in the air, the allergens, which can help uh, people who have allergies. Oh, that's interesting. That is interesting, especially now during you know high allergy, high pollen season. Right. right. Uh, the The book is based uh, a lot on the findings of uh, Nikola Tesla. Exactly. Well, here's tell us story. who he is. Here's the story. Or was? Well, here's the story. It even goes back a little farther. Uh, my wife and I watch a program on television called The Shark Tank. Uh, you know, it's uh, these entrepreneurs, sure. billionaires. Uh, People come and uh, they ask for money, and they right. tell them, no, this doesn't, this doesn't. Well, anyway, we were watching, it's got to be a couple of years ago, uh, a young guy came up and he said, I've got this um, band that produces negative ions, and it'll give you a feeling of well-being. They just eviscerated the guy because he had no scientific evidence to back him up. If you notice in the book, I made sure that everything I said has scientific validity to it. Well, uh, Mark Cuban was the one that really eviscerated him. So it kind of got my interest, because I remember years ago, uh, people were talking about negative ions, and I started to do some research, and I found that Nikola Tesla, not the car, by the way. <laughs> but the car, was named, the car was named after exactly, him. Exactly, but people think <laughs> that uh, I'm talking about the car. Well, anyway, right. Nikola Tesla, back in the, 18, the late 1800s, discovered... Uh, these negative ions, by, because he, of course, worked with electricity. In fact, in 1900, and I, I talk about it in the, in the book as well, that there was a very well-known uh, ma- uh, science magazine that he did this amazing article about the benefits of negative ion. Uh, the problem with Nikola Tesla, he never followed through on anything. Kind of a weird guy. He was a uh, germaphobic. He wouldn't shake hands. And there was a story he was invited to uh, have lunch at a restaurant. He asked for 12 napkins, and he cleaned all the utensils, all the silverware, all the... Uh, well, uh, I asked for 12 napkins, but that's because I'm sloppy yeah, when well, I eat. Yeah, well, and also, how about this one? He, he, he couldn't stand women uh, wearing pearls, and uh, women's hair kind of uh, drove him crazy. So, uh, actually, but he was brilliant because he discovered... Uh, alternating current, while uh, his main competitor, a guy by the name of Edison, you might have heard of him, Thomas Edison, right. uh, talked about direct current. And, of course, Tesla was right. Uh, it should be called the uh, Tesla company, not the Edison company. Anyway, uh, he found that when people were near uh, electricity, they felt better, uh, they, uh, more energized, etc., 
and he really was the uh, instigator of the idea of negative ions. But at the same time, Earl, you know, you said it uh, as we began a few moments ago, being near our cell phones, being near our TV sets, um, we're constantly being bombarded by electricity. Isn't this good then for us? Well, no, because it's unfortunately... (laughs) Uh, it produces the positive ions, not the negative ions. So that's a problem. It's called far infrared. Uh, I don't want to get it really into radiation, but basically they produce the positive ions, and we need more of the negative ions. So my uh, real, uh, you know, my feeling is that we should realize that we should be uh, get outside into the fresh air uh, if we can. Uh, I wear the bracelet. There's machines that produce this, uh, these negative ions. And we will feel much happier, more energetic. And some of the things that uh, negative ions will help, as I mentioned, allergies and asthma. I talked about, of course, um, uh, air pollution and uh, even ADHD uh, seems to help to uh, bolster your immune system. What uh, about autism? Well, we're not sure about that, but it's, it's definitely worth, you know, we're not saying this is a cure or anything, but it definitely helps with ADHD. How about this? Uh, uh, that uh, pain, Mark, pain seems to be a uh, serotonin uh, causes uh, uh, us to have more pain, and this helps to decrease the serotonin uh, uh, amount in the uh, bloodstream. You so, told me you talk you talk in the in the book about uh, naturally occurring negative ions, and one of the things uh, that you you talk about is having a large fountain. Yeah, near, you know, near, is that why people like to be near fountains? Exactly. People love taking showers. People love going to uh, next to waterfalls or the or the in the mountains where there's fresh air. Or um, of course, uh, uh, you know, my feeling the way uh, the uh, seashore because of the waves. So it definitely uh, next time if you're you know I I think people should buy a little uh, water fountain even next to their desk in an office. Because if you go into the average office now... I have, a, I have a large one outside, but because of the drought here in Southern California, <laughs> and it's near my office, I keep it dry. Well, there it is. There's, everything that is good for us, we seem to have a problem with. But just imagine people working eight hours a day in an enclosed environment... Without any negative uh, ions. Uh, Our guest is the author of The Happiness Effect, my friend Earl Mendel. Uh, We're going to take some time out. When we come back, we'll continue our conversation. Coming up at the top of the hour, uh, Dr. Ed Group uh, will be joining us from the Global Healing Center in Houston, Texas. We're going to be talking about anti-aging and iodine here on Late Night Health. Please join us at LateNightHealth.com. There's lots of information. You'll actually see a a copy of uh, uh, Dr. Mendel's book and a picture of uh, Dr. Earl as well. All right, more coming up uh, here on Late Night Health. Don't go away. More happening around the corner. 